Okay, picture this place. The temperature is somewhere between four and minus one degrees Celsius all the time. There's barely any light. And in most cases, there's none of it, not a hint of it anywhere. And the pressure of the surrounding atmosphere, it's anywhere from 20 to over a thousand times what we normally experience on land. So what is this bone chilling, bone crushing, unearthly place called? We promise it's anything but unearthly. These are our own deep oceans and they are home to more life than you can possibly imagine. So how do the animals that are living there handle being under such incredible pressure all the time? We're glad you asked. Welcome to Owl Connected's General Knowledge. Now a large part of what prevents us humans from surviving in the deep sea environment is this stuff. Air. As it turns out, we have a lot of air in our bodies. It's in our lungs, in our sinuses, even in our blood vessels. And under extreme water pressure, that air gets compressed. You can actually even feel the start of this when you dive to the bottom of a deep swimming pool. Only at around 700 meters deep, that pressure is way stronger. So strong that a military submarine could be crushed like this tin can in your hand. Deep sea animals simply do away with all the air carrying cavities inside their bodies, because unlike the gases, liquids cannot be compressed by the water. Deep sea fish have also adapted to having unsaturated fats in their cell membranes. This type of fat resists freezing, kind of like an antifreeze. And this is very important because if those cell membranes were to freeze, they would become solid and solid things can get crushed by that deep sea pressure. And the bodily adaptations don't stop there either. The cells of fish and other marine animals have a secret, if stinky, weapon against the weight of underwater living. It's called trimethylamine oxide, or TMAO. TMAO reinforces the structures of the proteins in these animals against outside pressure. TMAO also decomposes into a gas called trimethylamine, and that trimethylamine, well, it might not surprise you to know that it smells a bit fishy. Thanks a lot for watching, and be sure to follow us so you don't miss out on the next episode of Owl Connected's General Knowledge.